back again guys the sun's out guns out and I'm ready to paint I've been waiting for this time of year for so long it was like it was like it was like I had to pee so bad I just wanted to paint but now that the weather's here we can finally start filming some videos create some content because I know bottom line is you guys want to see graffiti paint used in graffiti art I got a whole shipment of the flame orange acrylic and we need to move it baby so we're gonna go ahead and feature that today y'all been waiting to see it a lot of talk been happening well now it's happening today baby now for those of you who don't know when when Molotov came out with the flame line they came out with a synthetic formula and the acrylic formula of the flame blue so flame orange synthetic flame blue acrylic well there we had said maybe perhaps you should make an acrylic version so it matches up with these two now it's not that big of a deal but I think, you know, just for the sake of continuity, it's a good move on their part. So we, now we have a full acrylic line in the orange and the blue. But wait, it gets better. It gets better. But hey, check this out. Okay, so we have the new uh, acrylic formula that we got in this shipment. But they also came out with a bunch of new colors. Like, they're called crazy colors. So here example is a crazy green. This came in our new shipment with this because it's the new shade. But guess what? It's synthetic. But that's going to be with our, our acrylic line. I know, it's so confusing. I don't know why they always do this to us. But that's the way it is. So we're just going to have to deal with it. We have a new acrylic, we have a new synthetic, and we have an old synthetic. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. So what we're going to have to do is just try them all out, guys. We're just going to have to try them all out. So I got some of the acrylic in the Lagoon Blue. I'm going to start painting a piece. Well, not really a piece. It's more of like a simple straight letter, just so we can see how it rocks. Right now, I got a Jiffy cap on this bad boy. You guys know those Jiffies. One of my favorite caps out there. I'm a big fan of the Jiffy cap. Uh, and also want to give a shout out to the homies over at Cap Matches Color. They're the ones that made the Jiffy cap. And I got to give daps to where daps is due. See you MC, my homies right away. All right, so I'm gonna hit up a certain young man, a, a customer of ours, and a good friend on, on the Insta. So I'm gonna hit up my homie Fat. He writes Fat One, or just Fat for short. F-A-T as his name. Not P-H-A-T, F-A-T. That's his tag, and he's been bugging me to hit him up. So now, now I'm gonna hit him up right now. Again, we got the Jiffy Cap. It's a good all-arounder. Something you can easily use. And uh, we'll just do some simple boxy type letters. You guys feel me like that? make your boxes maybe I'll do one of these like triangle things on the F right there then the A we'll do some boxes as two as well real simple guys real simple no need to get too complicated with it no need to get too complicated all right let's do the T that the acrylic formula feels just slightly runnier than the synthetic version just so you guys know that doesn't mean it's not thick and it doesn't coat well because it does I think it's just the nature of these acrylic paints they're just a little bit different but still very nice I think you guys will really enjoy it coverage is great especially this color what is this lagoon blue Let's try a little fade with it just to see how it looks. Not bad. Definitely fades nicely. I don't know if it's any better than the than the synthetic in that aspect, but it comes out good, fades good. Can't complain too much. I'm very happy with it. And now we have compatibility, which is nice. It's good to be compatible. <laughs> <laughs> Smart, passionate. I mean, you could have the both the best of both worlds, of course, but I know a lot of lonely guys with way too high standards. I know a lot of lonely women with way too high standards. They're lonely as hell. Not me. I got a wife that calls me way too much. But I love her. She's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and fill this in. My dude, Fat One. I want to say he was from New Orleans. I'm not sure, though. Somewhere out there. Maybe he's not even from America. 
Who knows? Either way, big fat. How you doing, homie? So I'm getting good fills. Rather fond of it so far. This is fully compatible with the uh, the flame blue products. So I think for our splash, why don't we rock some flame blue along with it? Huh? Does that sound good to you guys? I think the F is a little too low. Let me let me fatten that bit up here real quick. Just because I think it's a little low on that side. But all right, let's go ahead and splash it in. So I got a can of apricot in the flame blue, and I thought it'd be great just to kind of lace in a little bit of that. And uh, look at that, pretty pretty close to my shirt, isn't it? As you see, I love these type of colors. You guys haven't noticed some. Very colorful man. So I'm just gonna lace in my splash. Just kind of loosely, just kind of follow around. No art no, or no science to this. This is just the art part. The art, the arty farty part. Now I don't know if I had mentioned this in a previous video, but this apricot in the flame blue. And I don't know if it's coming in the orange line or not, but it's one of my favorite colors of all time. Covers good, looks good, smells good, it is good. You feel me? All right. There's so many tags on here, I can't even see what I'm doing. There's one thing that sucks about getting older is losing your eyesight. I'm already starting to lose my eyesight a bit. And, um... <laughs> Remember guys, you only get one life. Unless you're Hindu. Then you get multiple lives. Alright. Go ahead and fill that in. This splash, then we'll be cracking. Just make sure you get plenty of vitamin E, kids. Is that what's in the carrot, right? Vitamin E. I eat a lot of carrots. I'm like Bugs Bunny, baby. That's good for the splash for now. Let me stop and take a look at it real quick here. All right, I think we need to start doing our fill accents. I got some menthol light and the flame orange acrylic light. So let's go ahead and start lacing that in. Maybe do some bubbles for my dude Fat Wonder. This color, this color is extremely high coverage, guys. I have had nothing but good, good, good vibes from it since I started using it. I will tell you this though, it does overspray like a bitch, but. 
It's like a Rusto times two times three, basically. It's like double the thickness of a Rusto. But I guess that would be times four. My, my apologies. There we go. Que bella, que bella. Do Italians say que? Like Spanish people? I don't even know. I got some of this uh, crazy green, crazy green in the flame orange line. It's uh, it's actually synthetic, but it came with our acrylic shipment, so say la vie going with the acrylics. I would say this is similar to like a poison green or something like that. That would be the closest shade I would say similar to it. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty right about that. It's very much like a poison green. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it is poison green and they just renamed it. No, I don't think it is, because it covers a little bit better than the Poison Green, actually. This actually covers better than Poison Green, which is an amazing color, but notoriously thin. But if you want that shade, you gotta get it, right? But this is the new alternative to the Poison Green, right? I think this has some zinc yellow in it because a lot of the zinc yellows tend to do this when you first spray them. They kind of like have this weird like separate kind of thing going on with them. It might be what's up with that. But the coverage is good. The cover is good. You can like flick your wrist, do kinds of weird shit with it, you know. Just do your thing, shorty. Do your thing. All right. Now let's do some layering. Get some layers in there, baby. Get some layers. If you ain't laying, you ain't spraying, baby. That's the rule. All my friends are dead. This is what she said. All my friends are dead. This is what she said. All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead. And just for the sake of variety, I'm gonna rock a blue dot on one of these because I know a lot of you have used the blue dot. It's a soft tip. You're very familiar with the spray. So let's see how it acts on the acrylic. And this is um, this is a bar -bar 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 -bar. I can't read it. Melon dark, a dark melon. Represent, gotta represent, represent, gotta rep. That's what I'm doing here. <laughs> you know, I've used the melons in a lot of different paint lines, and more often than not, the melons tend to be very, uh, they don't, it's not that they're runny, they just don't cover well. It's the nature of the, of the shade, I think. But it's a, it's a gorgeous color. But just keep in mind, you kind of have to go over it a few more times in another shade. And this is, this is with any line that I've tried melons in. They just, they don't cover as well. But it's still such a beautiful shade. I gotta include it in there, you feel me? I just gotta have it. I gotta catch them all. It's like my Pokemon is getting all these cans. That's my Pokemon, baby. All right, get that in there. Go. Let that dry for a second, set up. Now these shades are a little too close. Maybe it's my sunglasses, but I think I need something a little bit more complimentary, guys. I think, uh, should we mix a little Molotow in this? I know this is a flame acrylic video, but you know how I love to freestyle. I'm a big, 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 big proponent of freestyling your life. The freestyle life, baby. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of this. It's a, uh, it's the Cacao Universe's 77 Green. It is by far one of my favorite greens, baby. Let's go ahead and get it shaken up. But I think this will give us what we need. I think this is what we're looking for. A little something. It's still too close, isn't it? It's still too close. I'm gonna go ahead and lace these in. It's not what I'm looking for, actually. 
but I like it. I like it a lot. So we'll go ahead and lace a couple of these in there, and then we're gonna go find the color I need. These is not the color, but I know it's out there. It's it's calling to me, guys. The right shade. The right shade is out there in the world calling to me. Or maybe it's on the rack in the warehouse and it's calling to me. Maybe that's what's going on. So let me do this, and then uh, we'll go ahead and check the rack. See what else we got. Waiting to be used. I know there's a I know there's a color there for me. And I think it needs to be a shade of green. Something. I think I found what I'm looking for. Flame blue, fluorescent yellow. And again, this is a flame orange review, but it's, it's acrylic. We gotta try them together, baby. We gotta see how they stack up with each other, how they, how they go with each other. And remember, this is the fluorescent color. So fluorescent colors don't normally cover as well. So if you see that, don't think it's a problem with the can. It's just the nature of fluorescent, but I think it'll do just fine. I think I want to do drips coming down. What do you guys think? Oh man, look at that. That was what I was looking for. stuff I was looking for. Remember kids, fluorescence is so hot right now. What a pretty mess we've made. If you're not making a mess, you're not having fun. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. Don't want to overdo it, guys. Don't want to overdo it with the crazy stuff. But I got to tell you, I've been using a lot of fluorescence over the years. And again, I'm a big fan of fluorescence if you can't tell my shirt. I have yet to see a fluorescent line as good as these flame blues. As far as the painting experience. The Molotow too, too. I would say that as well. But I think these are actually a little bit better than the Molotow ones. Maybe it's just my stupid opinion. You know, Maybe you should try them for yourself and see what you think. But whatever it is, get some fluorescent colors, guys. It's where it's at. All right, sick. So I got this can of flame orange acrylic with a Lego cap because you know I love doing my outlines with the Legos. So what I want to do is uh, paint you guys a little scenario, right? Picture yourself, you're in the yard, you're getting your fill in, you're super into it, you're just feeling the vibe, and all of a sudden you hear some creepy sound, maybe like a worker down the line, something's going on, and you're like, man, I gotta finish this shit the fuck up. I don't have time to put a big 3D blocking. I don't have time to put piano keys in there. I ain't got time for that. So here's what we're gonna do. We'll just do a simple outline with a little bit of a paper 3D. What's that, you ask? Imagine your piece being two-dimensional, a piece of paper cut out, you know, die cut out of a piece of paper, and the back of it's covered with dye, and you just kind of move it over a little bit, and it makes a little smudge behind it. There's your paper outline, baby. So let's go ahead and get cracking. Now I can see what I'm doing. Apologies guys, while I'm painting this thing, the wind's kicking up and it keeps blowing this stupid thing at me. So my lines are getting a little bit shitty. No excuses, right? No excuses. All terrain painting. <laughs> uh, 
it's all good. Guys, if you can't have fun doing what you're doing, then you might as well quit. That's my, that's my whole way of doing it. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little mini 3D, basically, off the side like that. Just a little baby 3D, just to get yourself out of there. Just make the line double size. That's all you gotta do. Double it up. Simple as that. Like I said, you're in the train yard, you're in a, in a hurry to get out of there, just do a simple quick mini 3D on that. And oh, don't forget your shines. You gotta rock some shines on this. Get those shines in there. You can do them however you want. You could do it however you like. There you go. There you go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby, oh yeah. Stop moving! <laughs> Just some quick little shines. There! Easy as pie. Easy as pie, guys. Easy as pie. And that's pretty much it. So we'll go ahead and close out this video. And you just painted a train panel very quickly and very easily. Remember, when you're painting trains, you don't need to be that complex. In fact, the simpler the better because you want people to see your name when it's going by at 60 miles an hour. You feel me? If it's a wild style and it goes by, I'm gonna be like, oh, look at that big blob of graffiti. I don't even know what it said. But if it's a simple stamp, like Ichabod, that guy's the master at the stamps, dude. You can't even fuck with Ichabod. He's the stamp master. So, it's just simple, guys. Just keep it simple, get your name out there, go with the flow, you know, and when you're ready to flex, then you're ready to flex. You know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how it works, baby. But, uh, all right, guys, so let me give you a quick rundown of what we did. We just rocked a little quick little stamp piece with some flame orange acrylic mixed with the flame blue acrylic, just so you can see how they work together. I gotta say, they can, they're excellent companions for each other, but if you have some synthetic formula still, no worries, brother, you can still rock it. Bottom line, they're all capable cans. All the manufacturers make capable cans. The, the real thing that matters is what colors are the colors that you like? What valves are the valves you like? And I like these. My personal, this and Montana Black are kind of my faves right now. But um, only you can make that choice. So what you need to do is buy paint from us, of course. But you know, maybe just try out a few different cans and see what works for you. But in the meantime, gotta say I love this stuff. It's a great product. I hope you guys had fun and fat. I hope you enjoyed my little hit off you. I'm sorry I moved over so far. I don't know what I was doing. Sometimes I'm just crazy. I'm crazy like that. But I love you guys and big fat big ups to you brother I gotta go Ed's gotta go we gotta go our primos gotta run the game son and I guess that's it our primo.com your number one source for all things graffiti paint markers hopefully airbrush soon in one shot as well hello guys and uh, what else that's it I guess love you guys keep painting keep following us be sure to subscribe to our videos, be sure to share our videos, be sure to like our videos, be sure to follow at Green Ranger Reviews on Instagram, be sure to at our Primo, they are also on Instagram, and uh, yeah, spread the love guys, talk to you later, peace.